Hello my loves, welcome back to Lavender. Today we're gonna have a high vibe morning. We all see these YouTubers and influencers, including myself, uploading these gorgeous, super great morning routines. Well, as I'm trying to find what my new morning routine for summer should be, I thought I would test out a few of my favorite YouTubers or influencers morning routines and see kind of how they fit into my life, how I can change it to work with my schedule, but also see if I like the benefits of them. If you guys want, this type of video can be a series, but today I am trying out Eileen from Lavender's morning routine. I'm a big follower of Lavender. I listened to her podcast when she had that. Um, I've been on her PR list actually, so I was able to get her set and her books. And she was honestly a big inspiration for me as I was creating my own work looks. And so love Lavender. Her quality of content is but I wanted to see if I could take this like perfect high vibe morning routine as she calls it and fit it into just my everyday life, which I feel like is a lot less perfect. I don't know if the word is, but I'm just like a college student living at home over the summer. I still got a lot of work to do. I honestly usually want to get straight to work in the morning, which I know isn't good. So I'm trying to like figure out a better morning routine so I don't push myself into work first thing every morning. Without any further ado, let's get into it and wake up. I sadly do not have a little puppy to wake me up this morning or to take out, but she says the first thing she does is wake up and don't go on social media. Um, and so normally I do, but today I made it a point to only look at my phone to text my boyfriend. And then I got out of bed. It's a rainy Monday morning. I woke up at around 7.45 a.m. I could have honestly gone back to sleep and slept longer, but I wanted to get started with my day. I normally go downstairs right away and make coffee, but I don't think she drinks coffee. So at some point today, I will need that coffee because I'm addicted, but I'm going to try to wait a little while to do that. But I'm going to get started with brushing my teeth and doing a little bit of simple skincare um, like she does. I also, it's very wrinkly, even though I just took it out of the dryer, put on my Lavender Artist of Life little set that she sent me. Well, Lavender sent me um, a few months ago. It's so cute. Yeah, in honor of Lavender, I put on her set. And then head to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I keep my morning skincare routine pretty simple. I usually just use cleansing water on a cotton pad to refresh my skin. Then I make sure to apply a lot of sunscreen. Next stop on Eileen's morning routine is to do some meditation, reflection, focus on gratitude and self-love. And since I normally do my devotions in the morning, which for me is kind of similar to centering myself, I'm going to take some time and read my Bible and do my devotions. But then I am also going to add in a meditation from her. She's uploaded some to YouTube. I'm going to sit and listen to that, which I normally don't do. I normally just will pray and read, but not meditate. So I have meditated before, but just not recently in my mornings. Um, so we are going to try that and see how it goes. All right, now I'm gonna do this guided med meditation by Lavender. She uploaded it nine months ago, but um, it's a guided meditation for positive energy, relaxation, and peace. So we'll see how it goes. Next, I'm starting my day with meditation and positive affirmations. This is my chance to center myself, connect with my intuition, and also set a positive intention for my day. Just got done all together I think that took about 25 minutes maybe I feel a lot more focused normally 
I feel very rushed. I'm like, okay, I'm done with my devotions, like time to get to work. But adding in that meditation, I will say I feel very like focused and more prepared to like move on to the next step, more relaxed. Um, so maybe I should start doing that, like even just sitting in silence or sitting with instrumental worship music in the background and just kind of like sitting in silence and not feeling like I have to be doing anything. <laughs> That's not something I know I could do in a morning that I was rushed because um, I just wouldn't be able to enjoy it. But on a slow morning, I think it was a beautiful thing. So next she goes and plays and blasts music while she makes her breakfast, which is like a green juice smoothie. While I have my music on, I'll show you how I make my easy green drink. Um, I'm gonna take this time and make my coffee finally because I normally eat breakfast. It's only nine and I normally eat breakfast like between 10 and 11. I just like eating later, but having my coffee in the morning. So I'm going to put some of my favorite jazz tunes in my AirPods and go downstairs with my family to make some coffee. I also just got a new oat milk creamer that I'm so excited to try out. Dang, that is sweeter than I thought. <laughs> My coffee is so sweet because I put probably too a little too much of this in here. Very vanilla-y, very good, very sweet for only four grams of sugar, but that's per tablespoon. But I honestly felt like maybe I only put, maybe I put like two tablespoons eyeballing it. It's pretty good though, and it was on sale for $4, so love that. I have my coffee now. Not as healthy as her green juice, but that's okay. Small steps. Then what I thought was interesting is she doesn't do her gratitude and journaling while she's doing her meditation. She does it after breakfast, um, right before she gets to work. So I'm going to now do a little bit journaling. Yes, this is my diary I've had since the beginning of 2020. It's not the cutest. It was a free book from my manufacturer, but it gets the job done. And I have like all of 2020 and now half of 2021 documented, but I'm not the best at like updating it frequently. So I thought it'd be good at the end of every week to kind of write down how my previous week was. I also have that option in the workbook actually. So maybe I'll fill it in, but like, as you can see after Sunday in the planner, there's a weekly summary where you can kind of just reflect on your week. So I could also do it in there, but um, I think I'm gonna do it in my diary. And then I also have this book, um, from Espoir called Four Things Gratitude Journal. And I've been using this since June 6th of last year. Oh my gosh, so a year ago, pretty much. But um, not every day, obviously, but you just write down four things that you're grateful for each day. So I'm going to do that and some journaling and it'll be a good start. Journaling helps me brain dump all my thoughts and worries so that I'm able to kickstart my creativity. If I don't journal these thoughts out, I'll be distracted or stuck from getting into a creative flow with my work. So this practice is really important for me to release anything that doesn't serve my creativity and energy. Journaling was good, got that done. Now I've written out my to-do list and my temporary plan for the day, what I've got so far. Got my Google Cal pulled up and I think it's time to get to work. Overall, I really liked Eileen's morning routine. It's very simple, get to the point, get to work, what you need to do. It's not like 
we're gonna fit all this in the morning. Got done when I needed to get done. It's more close to what I normally do on summer mornings, um, but, but nothing was like, oh my gosh, this is revolutionary. Like I have to add this to my own morning routine. There was none of that. It was kind of like, all right, it's almost the same as my own morning routine. So we're just gonna give it an eight out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do more of these. And if you do, then comment below whose morning routine I should try out next. It really helps if they've uploaded or posted recently about their morning routine so I can follow like their new version like I did with this video. And let me know if you would try out any of these steps in Eileen's morning routine. I'd love to hear them. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching, for your support, for watching to the end of this video. It means a lot. Make sure you're subscribed. You click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Peace out.